Hey everybody, this week's Ask Kristen could be called The One With All The Jealousy. The title of that Friends episode where Ross becomes like so jealous of Rachel's co-worker Mark because she's like, we're just friends, Ross. And he's like, no way you're friends because that guy's handsome and guys can't be friends with Jennifer Aniston's. <laughs> Interesting question is coming from Anonymous Julia. No, that is not her real name. Anonymous Julia originally wrote in asking, can men and women be just friends? And I talked about that all in last week's Ask Kristen video, so check it out if you haven't already. I wanted to make this follow-up video because of this little line that jumped out to me in her question. My own boyfriend is uncomfortable with my having men friends. Grrr! This is an important thing for us to understand, which is that line between jealousy that just naturally arises in romantic relationships and the jealousy that crosses the line into possessiveness and potential abuse. One quick caveat that all the studies I could find examining this jealousy dynamic between dating partners and friendship partners focus exclusively on straight people. A definite amount of heterosexism when it comes to relationship studies. So LGBTQ viewers, please know that I have you in mind, but unfortunately academia does not all the time. <laughs> Heterosexism aside. One study identified four particular kinds of jealousy that tend to arise in these situations. Sexual jealousy, which is pretty self-explanatory. Companionship jealousy. Intimacy jealousy. And power jealousy. In straight relationships, the only significant gender difference that researchers identified were that women are likelier, not surprisingly, to experience that companionship jealousy. So it's the whole thing that we hear about a lot of times where men are more concerned or more threatened by the prospect of sexual infidelity, whereas women tend to be more threatened by the prospect of emotional infidelity. Also not surprisingly, at least to me, is that one of the biggest predictors of this kind of jealousy is how long that friendship has existed. The thing is, the existence of those threat responses, feeling nervous, feeling a little bit jealous, even expressing a little bit of discomfort with a partner's friendship with someone that you feel is in some way encroaching on your relationship, is not an indictment on that person. It doesn't necessarily mean that that person is horrible and possessive and trying to keep you down. But this is also where we have to understand and know where that line is. In a healthy relationship, that jealousy might arise, but it's also gonna be balanced out by some rationality and some understanding and acceptance that your other person is gonna have other people in their life. If a conversation about that friendship arises, it should not go, hey, I don't want you to be friends with that person. <laughs> it should more go, I feel a little bit uncomfortable with like the vibes I'm getting from that friend. So can you help me understand just what's going on? Insecurity and discomfort are just gonna happen sometimes in relationships, but that is quite different from possessive and potentially abusive jealousy. The kind of jealousy that gets excused as, oh, but he just loves me so much, he doesn't like me hanging out with other guys. If you find yourself with someone who will only date you on the condition that you ditch all your guy friends or ditch all your girlfriends, I would recommend ditching that zero and getting some euros with your friends. A word though to the person with the friend who is causing all of this jealous turmoil. Be self-aware enough to recognize whether your friendship is really threatening your relationship. In a nutshell, if you are the person experiencing this jealousy, it is important to first check your jealousy. Be honest with yourself about where it's coming from. And if you're the person with that friend, check yourself, check your own motivations, check whether you or that friend may or may not have ulterior motives going on, and also check whether emotions that are being triggered in your partner are understandable and healthy or over the line. Now I want to know from you, dear viewers, do you have any advice for these kinds of scenarios of how to check yourself 
before you wreck yourself? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks to everybody who watched and commented on last week's Ask Kristen video. Can men and women just be friends? I'm gonna share a bunch of those comments and comments from this video in another video and a whole like comment a palooza. Stay tuned for that. And as always, ask me your questions so I can give you some answers.